So this is a very unusual product and I wanted to share it with you. Um, so what happens when a company like Wizards of the Coast leaves an entire country? Uh, well, this is what happens. This is a uh, magic for the gathering or magic for gathering rather. This is a Russian bootleg uh, of Alpha um, with the inclusion of a few other cards uh, translated almost automatically. You can see they've replicated even the uh, plastic with the pattern. It says magic for gathering. And um, instead of alpha, it uses a um, letter, the first letter of the old Russian alphabet called az. So it's A right alpha <laughs> and this is a display boosters uh, uh display boosters um i've got uh six of them that i managed to procure and on the back we can see that it's made in not russia but tashkent in uzbekistan the capital of uzbekistan do you know what uzbekistan is but this is alpha reprinted Completely bootleg, um, but it's interesting. We're, we're going to crack open a set of uh, boosters of this brand new game. Like, you can visit their website, and it's very tongue-in-cheek. It's very, like, uh, you know, we're not copying anything, you know. In fact, on the cards themselves, you will see that the copyright for this game is uh, circa 1992, um, which is funny because on their website, they have sort of a backstory um, of a, 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 a Uzbekistani uh, student in a dorm room uh, creating this game and, uh, you know, planning these cards. Obviously, it's made really tongue-in-cheek by some enthusiasts. And Russia has a very long history of Magic the Gathering anyway. I'm pretty old, so I know exactly when that started. We had, um, you know, Magic Tours. We had uh, World Tours. We had artists um, in the early 2000s. You know, I visited a lot of these events and signed some cards and a lot of the sets were printed in Russian. Obviously, that's all gone. And it's just interesting to crack open a Power 9 from a bootleg set in Russian that presents itself as, a, as an entirely new game. And I'm going to translate some of these cards, but I'm sure you're uh, familiar with a lot of them. It doesn't pop out as well as uh, a, a normal booster display box does. Oh, we got a box stopper. Look at that. That's Dark Ritual. Can you guess what that is, kids? Yes, that is a full art Dark Ritual. It does say Dark Ritual. It says instant. And immediately you can see a few changes from a magic card. First of all, the mana symbols are in, the, in this little uh, gray box. Uh, there's a very strange symbol set symbol there. Um, I guess that's Oz, I guess. And it says $2.99, just number $2.99 for these box toppers. It says Alexander Malkov. Now, the artists for the, these cards are going to be all over the place, but uh, they're all AI generated. I think they're, they're uh, mid journey or something like that. But um, it says uh, as copyrighted Magic 4 Gathering. 1992 to 2024. Can you see that, guys? Well, that's pretty wild. Apparently, um, these box toppers, I'm not going to crack open the entire uh, six uh, boxes of boosters here, uh, but uh, these box toppers are, I think, Birds of Paradise, a Lightning Bolt, a Swords to Plowshares, and something else, f five of them, uh, and they make like a panoramic a uh, panoramic picture, apparently. Well, let's put that to the side. Um, obviously, you know, like a bootleg product like that, I'm all for proxies and stuff. 
um, because, you know, we all remember how great Magic's 30th anniversary went, uh, and that was proxied, wasn't that? And, um, yeah, but, but, but these aren't really proxies, right? Even though we can see a rather dark knockoff, uh, back. It says Magic... Of the of the gatherers, I guess you could translate in a few different ways, but obviously these are bootleg. They feel very very flimsy. Like uh, they're not specifically thin or anything. This is obviously an island, uh, but uh, they're they're very glossy. Okay, oh, this is bad moon here. Uh, exact translation of, uh, of, uh, the flavor text. This is a rare, apparently. The rares and the uncommons and the, the, uh, the, the commons are all over the place in this one, guys. There, there, some of them are upside down, like, uh, we're not getting any upside down cards in this booster pack, but some of them are, like, crazy. They, they're crazy. Even some of the back sleeves, like, I don't know if you can see them, but this one is significantly darker than that one. But that's Phantasmal Beast, I guess. 3-3 three, three flying for 3 and a blue. Psionic Blast. Earth Elemental, I think. Tranquility, right? Frozen Shade. Here they somehow say that the shade is um, physically stopped. It's not moving. Even though that makes no sense. I think it's like a, 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 an actual frozen shade, a shade that's frozen. I'm gonna like focus on these few cards um, only for the first few packs. Iron Claw Orcs, Circle of Protection Red. You can see, for example, this one is uh, painted by Georgi Vetlakov. Vetlakov. Um, and, uh, yeah, and the mana symbol, uh, the, the plane's mana symbol is, um, is uh, a little different. But that's Circle of Protection. Red, Fog, uh, d Drain Life, I guess. It's like Flush Life. Uh, Dragon Whelp, uh, Guardian Angel. <laughs> Here we go, we have, um... Sinkhole immediately with a major print line. I'm not sure if you can see that, but yeah, there's a major print line on that sinkhole. And I guess these are nice to have as proxies, like a Russian proxied AI generated sinkhole. Isn't that fun? And that's a common and uh, giant crease on that uh, pestilence, I guess. Um, if, if memory serves correctly, giant crease in the middle. So these are printed in, in China, sorry. They're devised in Uzbekistan. And uh, some guy just started making them. And out here in Russia, oh, a full art mountain, that's sweet. Fork for the rare, lure, wall of swords, uh, black, Mantle, okay. Uh, Dryads, Iron Root, Tree Folk, Holy Armor, uh, Holy Strength, Shatter, uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, another Holy Armor and Holy Strength, which is really nice. Semi Healer, now I've got to place it, and uh, Pearl Unicorn. So he made I'm just putting the rares aside for some reason. Maybe I want to, like, maybe I want to uh, proxy some of my cards for, like, old school play. I'm going to put that uh, sinkhole to the side for sure. So uh, he made these booster sets. Bad moon there. Uh, booster sets. And he made a few decks, like starter decks. Um, these are 40 card decks, and people have already restricted a lot of these cards because, yes, the Power 9 is in here, but also this has foils in them. Uh, these, 
Rannock Gargoyle, Wooden Sphere, Rod of Ruin. I guess Granite Gargoyle is a rare, okay. I did not remember that. Wall of Ice, Fog, Tranquility, uh, Drudge Skeletons, uh, Unholy Strength, Guardian Angel, Circle Position White, very similar to Circle Position Red, uh, Iron Reef Hulk, uh, uh, Stream of Life, uh, some, some, some Regenerate thing, and a Giant Spider uh, with Reach. Um, so... He made 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 like uh, forty card decks, um, monocolored, and in fact, these decks are uh, sadly the best way to get uh, lands from this uh, new game, from this whole new game, uh, because these packs, as you might have noticed, contain a single land. Oh, we've got a foil! Look at that. That's uh, Dwarf Warriors? Yeah, Dwarf Warriors or something. Uh, the foiling... Apparently there's one in 20% of the uh, packs, right? So, very dark. And it's just a flimsy little uh, layer of gloss. I don't know if my camera, like, shows it, but it's like a flimsy layer of glossy. Not really foiling. I guess there's a little bit of rainbowing in there, but, uh, yeah, that's really weird. Mountain. Uh, natural selection. Okay. Uh, natural souls. Oh, soul ring! We got a soul ring. Look at that baby. Oh, my God. Look at that. By Viktor Vorobiev. A classic artist that definitely exists somewhere in Uzbekistan. That's definitely, definitely true. True and real. Um, yeah, that's a soul ring. It's literally just a soul ring. Um, it looks like one. Like, that looks like something I might find in, um, in, a uh, Precon, Commander Precon. Uh, Living Wall, or, yeah, Living Wall, Green Life. Fear, very similar to the original artwork, I must say. Uh, Life Link, right? Shatter, Disenchant, very nice. Some of these AI art, uh, Double Spider, very cool. Um, some of these AI arts are okay, I must say. Uh, the Bears, Grizzly Bears, uh, just... Dark as hell. Some of these cards are so dark. And a healing south in case everyone cares. We're going to crack open a few more of these. I want to keep on cracking at least until we hit a power nine. Because, yes, I do understand, like, uh, you know, uh, what is that? Will of the Wisp? Will of Wisp? Yeah. Um, tunnel. Uh, whatever that is. Berserk, which is cool. Jangrowth, uh, Lanoir Elves, which are just called Forest Elves here. Okay. Uh, Red Elemental Blast, which says, which is the explosion of a red elemental. I'm not sure that's what it means. Uh, what is that? A flute? Um, Unsummon. <laughs> Another Red Elemental Blast. Merfolk of the Pearl Tri- Oh my god, look, it's, it's uh, Jason Mamala here. Sea Serpent, False Orders, and a very strangely printed Fire Breathing. Um, what was I talking about? So, yeah, obviously, through parallel imports and things like that, uh, Russia still gets new sets. So the last one we have right now is Duskhorn. Uh, foundations. Oh, another foil. Disintegrate. Listen, that rather I have bad. Like a weird, glossy disintegrate. Okay. Uh, oh, and a full art mountain. Pretty cool. Um, uh, touch, touch of life. Uh, life touch. Whatever that card was. The more I look at these proxies, the less that I remember. Gloom. Uh, Presence of Evil, Cursed Land, uh, Spell Blast, Blue Elemental Blast, and that's a real elemental. I'm not sure what it's blasting. Uh, and, and, and your Mana Drain or whatever, uh, Guardian Angel, Holy Strength, 
Circle Prediction Blue for a Unicorn, Disenchant, and Wild Growth. Um, that was Giant Growth, by the way, not Wild Growth. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? So obviously we still get Dustmorn and probably we'll get um, Foundations and stuff, but um, this is interesting. This is interesting. Like, I guess there are, um, there are uh, countries that don't really get magic officially. Like they they don't, don't don't get TCGs, and even though I believe that another natural selection, great. Um, Ivory cup, I see manipulator, uh, br brass tablet, uh, giant growth, crawl worm. All right, uh, that baby looks angry. Another giant growth. Um, Power Sync, right? Uh, Dredge Scouts. Ooh, the print lines on those, baby. Look at that. I'm not sure if you can see, but they look haggard. So, anyway, um, I guess, like, these aren't expensive, right? Like, this entire uh, booster box was, uh, like, I don't know, uh, fifty dollars, right? So they're they're making some sort of money, just like Mons Goblin Raiders, just Goblin Raiders. The disrespect, Mountain Living Artifact, Throne of Bone, Living Corpse, uh, Imp, uh, whatever, Fog, Tranquility, Drain Life, Gray Ogre. Grizzly Bears, Holy Armor, Circulation, Red, uh, pl Plains Pegasus, Mesa Pegasus, uh, and uh, Semi Healer. Um, okay, let me grab a few from the bottom, a few from the middle, and one more from the top. Okay, because this video is going to be long. I really. You know, I'm so ambivalent because, first of all, this is like copyright infringement, right? Oh, Siege Troll, all right? Camo, camouflage, right? Channel. Now, I heard that this is changed, so let's read it. For two green, until the end of turn, uh, every time you want to activate, yes, they actually changed channel, and I said, you can pay two life for each colorless. Now that doesn't make a lot of sense. I guess they really don't want like uh, channel fireball being a thing immediately. I storm. Oh God, this is the first of a few jokes that people make. This is Banish Hero, right? First of all, uh, okay. Can I get your number? Does it even focus? Yes. Uh, it says Hero of Bulgaria on it. Now, there are a few of things here that are a little bit weird. For example, the Shivan Dragon is just called the Shishka Dragon, which is a meme instantly out here. But the Hero of Bulgaria is just beautiful. And instead of banding, uh, they, they gave it, uh, banditism. So, I don't know. Crooked Quartz. Immediately we get an Upside Down card. Why not? Iron Claw Art. Orcs. Arcs. Terror. Wall of Wood. Another Bulgarian hero. A true hero of Bulgaria. Tupac has been found alive in Bulgaria. Circle Protection Green. A fairy of some sort. It says fairy tale fairy, literally. Wall of wood, grizzly bears, wild growth. Um, listen, I'm happy Bulgaria gets all these heroes and stuff. What was even the rare here? I guess the troll. That's bizarre. Uh, that's macabre. Um, island. Lord of Atlantis, look at that art. Like, I know it's AI and all, but it's, isn't it kind of cool? 
Black Knight, uh, Orcish Artillery, uh, something Rampaging Troll? I don't remember. Uh, upside Down, Paralyze. Uh, Poison Thought? What? Uh, what was it? Weakness, uh, Drudge Skeletons, Janus Spire, Grizzly, blah, 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 blah. Um, so this, I, I remember bootlegs being a thing when I was a kid, and I was into Pokemon TCG, and I was, is this foil? No, it's just like a weird land. Touch of Darkness? It's start, it's, yeah, it, it's the worst rare I could have gotten. Great. Uh, oh, look, Swords to Plowshares. There he is. He even looks a little bit like the guy, right? I remember when I was a kid and I was living in London and, uh, oh, thank you for the two Circle Protection Blue. Um, living in London and going to Chinatown, and there were all these Chinese stores selling terrible, terrible bootleg Pokemon. Like, really bad. Awful. And I was, like, happy because they were selling them for a fraction of the price. Some of the translations on them, beautiful. I kind of like the symbol for these planes. Very artifacty. Like, it's too white. But, yeah. Uh, touch of life against whatever that. Uh, flash fires. Conservator. Uh, fire Elemental, where's the lady? Uh, Red Elemental Glass, Holy Armor, Holy Strength, Probably Necron, Chandra, uh, yeah. And I was happy because, you know, I was a kid and getting all of these bootlegs was pretty funny back then. Like, I know it's illegal and I know it's like people who don't hate proxies and they're people who, who hate on people who don't have a perfect uh, graded nine metal worker and all that shit. But, you know, Kudzu, Kudzu, whatever. I remember you. Kudzu, Ivory Cup. Oh, that's so funny. Isn't uh, that's basically Urza's glasses, right? right? One man will look at the opponent's hand. That's Urza's glasses. Is it Urza's glasses? It's just called Seer's glasses. Uh, net of soul net, rather, and the rest we've seen. But, oh, thank you for two Lanowarls. Uh, Disenchant, Jan Growth, uh, summon Raise Dead. Very nice. Very nice. Kudzu. Um, so, yeah, people used to really hate proxies when I was playing. And when I stopped playing, and that was around the time of uh, Onslaught, oh, Pestilence in Foil, beautiful, Full Art Mountain, Copy Artifact, okay, uh, Orc, whatever, Orc Standard, Wall of Stone, uh, whatever, Sanctify Ground, Invisibility, Plague Rats, Regenerate, uh, Oh, there we go. We should get that to the guy who collects all these beautiful uh, stone rings. Uh, what was even the rare? Unsure. Sea serpent. False orders. Um, yeah. Uh, so I'm like, in my old age, you know, I'm more lenient towards people who try to make do and who try to, like, okay, there are kids playing this game. They want to, like, have proxies to play with. They want to have, like, um, experience something in their native language. And don't bring politics into this. Uh, but, uh, you know, another copy artifact dude, for real. Um, like, I'm pretty sure uh, Charismatic Minotaur... Is this a knob a minute or something? War Mammoth, Flight, Dark Ritual, a normal one, not a full art one. Looks incomprehensible. It certainly is dark. Um, Raised Dead, Hill Giant, looking like fucking Gooner and Dwarf Warriors. Um, so, yeah, like there are people speaking Russian in Ukraine, there are people speaking Ukrainian in Russian, Russian in Russian, Russian in Ukraine. Listen, 
Not here to talk about any of that. I'm just here to sort of look at it. Oh, force of nature, very nice. I'm just here to, sorry, I hit my camera. Oh, that, that's, that was gross, right? Um, scavenging ghoul. Oh, hypnotic specter, baby. Like you could probably build necro from this. I guess there is necro in here. Um, sort of. You could definitely build a weird off-brand channel fireball from this. If you open enough of these, Juggernaut looking cray cray. Okay. Disintegrate. Dragon Wall. Drudge Skeletons. Fog. Uh, weakness. Theme of Life. Lanowar Elves. Couple of Dryads. And another Bulgarian hero. There are people speaking Bulgarian out here, as we can see. Um, let's finish this up real quick. So, yeah, Wizards, I'm not going to moan about their decision. Two-headed giant. You can barely see his head. The other one. Uh, t Twister? Right. Yeah, all flying creatures. Iron Star. Tsunami, baby. Okay. Elemental Blast, Paralyze, Freeze Dead, Minotaur. What is this? Is this a misprint? Or just... Does it just look jank? That'll let you regenerate. Fairy, grizzly, wild bird. Um, you know, it is what it is. I'm not, like, going to make this a uh, whining video. But you can sort of expect that when you leave, like, when you leave a creature, uh, a creature, I just looked at a creature. That's a foil giant spider, by the way. When you leave a country, like, people are going to... A dual land <laughs> and, a, and a demonic tutor. Look at that. Finally, finally, we get something good. Okay. There is a clone, by the way. Uh, false orders. F I, I'm not even showing the cards. Fire breathing. Uh, call from, howl from beyond. Frozen shade. A, a white on the last. Battleless hero. Uh, spell blast. Another frozen shade. Another blue on the last. So, um... We have a one-to-one, <laughs> -one, basically, Demonic Tutor. Uh, it says what it is. Uh, it's a Demonic Tutor. Uh, and it says, I can give you all the knowledge in the world, but what price are you willing to pay for it? Did it have that flavor text ever? Uh, one in a black for tutoring. And in the same pack, we get... A bayou, right? That's that's a bayou. Okay, so that's just a bayou from a from a pack. I mean, it's pretty. It has flavor text. At at some point, the the deep forest uh, was sinking into the swampy ooze of endless swamps, covered in fog and disgusting fumes. Okay, I'm sorry that happened, or happy that happened to you. I'm not going to read, though. It literally is a, a bayou, right? Um, okay, well, well, we got a duo land. <laughs> a duo land. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most, um... People will never get a chance to crack that, and neither do I, because these aren't real cards. Uh, Phantasmal Landscape, Forest, just a djinn. It just says djinn. Is it Mahamadi? Flight 5646. Six. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm not Spectre, Black Knight, Wooden Sphere, and the crap. The rest of the crap. Um... Yeah, so it feels weird. Like, you know it's not real cards, but it is a knockoff set. It's, it's, it's somewhere in between. Oh, look. <laughs> what is that? Uh, uh, um, scorched Earth or whatever. Swamp. What, what the hell is the... I, I'm blanking, okay? Uh, 
another dual land, which is nice, you know. It's nothing like crazy looking because it is AI generated. And the names don't even correspond to what it is, which is why I'm blanking on what the uh, Rakdos dual land is called. Life Link, whatever. Um, Animate Artifact. Counterspell, Oh, Oh, look at that guy. He's, 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 he's countering a spell. He's kind of JC looking motherfucker. Uh, sea Serpent, Invisibility, Flay, Flagrants. Lightning Bolt. The first Lightning Bolt we got in this entire box. That's pretty nice. So my healer right on the last. Okay, Lightning Bolt and Counterspell in one pack with a uh, dual land. Well, that's kind of fun. It's just fun. It's just fun to remember. Uh, Magic Hack Island Stasis? <laughs> <laughs> How is this stasis, bro? It's just some bubbles. I guess they're in stasis. I guess they're kind of hanging by a thread or something. Crazy looking. And the rest is like pretty much the same in of Spectre Black Knight. Soul Ring Number Duel. Uh, Rage Dead, Wild Growth, Grizzly, Wild Growth. Another sinkhole. Very nice. Unsummon and drain life. Wait, this is a rare, right? Magical hack. Okay, well, whatever. I'm not gonna like sleeve any of them, you know? It's, it's whatever. I just wanna get Power Nine into my weird little collection of oddities and like, have fun with it a little bit, you know? Like maybe build a deck. Maybe I will go. Oh, these picks, these picks very loose, very loose. Like your sister. Um, uh, full art force, another gen. Okay, cursed earth basalt monolith. Does it look basalt to me? I don't know. I like the card though. Fireball. Oh, look, there it is. Combo Wombo. Uh, I don't think they have changed Fireball for what it's worth. Uh, the rest does not seem to be interesting. Except for some full art Russian knockoff bootleg, uh, criminally infringing lands. Uh, Will o Wisp. The Rod of Ruin, uh, Iron Star. Ah, oh, look. It's Mr. Sengu. Do you know how they translated it? Just like they translated Sarah Angel. Because there's no Sarah in this set whatsoever. Uh, this is just Fearsome Vampire. It's Mr. Fearsome Vampire. Oh, look. He's so fearsome. And uh, the Sarah Angel is just, I think, like... Uh, a uh, Savannah Angel or something like that. It's like Plains Angel, just like referring to her location and not Sarah, obviously. Um, these cards feel very slippery, very glossy. They, they feel very like smooth. I'm trying to think of a set that would feel like that. Um, Plains. Uh, is th this, uh, whatever, Brain Geyser? Yes, it is Brain Geyser. It's called Explode Brain. <laughs> Very funny, flash fire. Oh, there it is. The Angel of the Sphere. I mean, she's got spheres. Um, yeah, that's Sarah Angel, right? Uh, right after Singer Vampire. Grey Ogre, Unholy Strength, no Pentagram, uh, whatsoever. Mesa Pegasus, another Lightning Bolt, Dredge Skeletons, Fog. <laughs> a lot of tranquility in this one. This set is trying to tell me something. Okay, and red, uh, Circle Petition, red. Um, we've got a f one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. 
And one, two, three left. Okay. And there's a lot of proxies in this. So if you wanted to build like a full alpha set of knockoff fork, it just says fork, like a fork. Uh, Phantasmal Forces, uh, Spectral Beast, or whatever. Earth's Glasses, Spectral Landscape, okay. Earthbind, oh, well, look, I guess they were inspired by the artwork, huh? Fog, Leap, very sticky leap. What the hell? Is it stuck to something? Very strange. Fog, Tranquility. I've gotten so many Tranquilities. A lot of Mons Goblin Raiders and uh, Semi Healer. Listen, this is fine. Like, for kids who can't get their hands on an old set and will never be able to, this is like fine. What is this? Image of the Wolf? Aspect of Wolf? Uh, Ice Storm, Rod of Ruin, Iron Star, uh, Dark Ritual again, okay. Okay, Disenchants, Healing Solves, Red Elemental Blast. We're not getting a Power 9 in this box. Like, I've seen boxes where people get, like, four Black Lotuses, you know. And I keep getting Living Artifacts. And Black Knights. What is this? Is this um, Library of Lang? I think so. Plague Rat Sleep. So, okay. Iron Root. Not much. Tim! What have they done to you? They shaved you. Oh my god. Can you even see the guy? He looks so bad. He looks like a, you know, insane Jace. It is so dark. This card, of the, what have they done to my boy? Look how they massacred my boy. Um, yeah. So, I mean, kids these days, maybe some of them will see uh, this. Oh, it's full Kank Island. <laughs> that one I remember. Now listen, uh, uh, yeah. It looks good. It really, it really does look good. Siren Call, Clone, Control Magic, Prodigal Sorcerer, Merfolk, Go Try to Terror. Okay. Uh, nothing else. I'm getting a lot of dual lands. So some boxes contain like zero. Uh, power nine cards, but hey, Swamp. Savannah. Listen, I like these. You know, I kind of, I don't give a shit. I kind of like these. They kind of look old school, don't they? Look at the Savannah, man. Juggernaut. Uh, d d d d d uh whatever, zombies. Wall of Bone. Uh, Regenerate. Murph of the Pure Trine. Why? Uh, just fear. Okay, well, listen. We've got only seven packs left. And it's, you get like 36 in this, by the way, in every box. Oh, God. Uh, basilisk, baby. Look at this big old chicken. That's a good eatings. Um, yeah, it's just literally basilisk. Orgish uh Troll, whatever, uh, Raise Dead, uh, Pegasus, a lot of Sea Serpents, Invisibility, Mind Poison, right? It's the Snake card. Oh, there is a Snake in there, isn't there? Yeah, there's like Mind Venom or whatever. Flight. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Six boosters left. That's not a power nine number at all. Contract from below. Uh, okay. Berserk. I will keep berserks. Why not? Just to play. Just to draft. By the way, these boxes are actually called draft booster boxes. So I guess they are intended 
for people who want to experience drafting for the very first time. Like they want to like gather with their friends and they want to, I don't know where they would get lands because um, there's like 60 lands in every display of boosters. Uh, so you would have to buy some decks, buddy. You have to buy decks and you have to like add stuff to the full art land. Another living art, are you fucking kidding? Salt monolith, I'm gonna, fine, I'll put it aside. Berserk again. Oh God, uh, fire breathing, giant spider, grizzly, whatever, firebolt. Uh, Okay. Four left. Please. Something. Something beautiful. Please. Uh, give to me. Lord of Atlantis again? Sir, I have seen display boxes where people would get ancestral recall after ancestral recall after ancestral recall and not give a single shit. Are they, are, are they just rarer? Like, naturally rarer? Are they creating scarcity already, man? Dude, why would you do that? Uh, pr pressure jump? What is that? Uh, it deals X damage at, this, uh, at, at the upkeep, where X is the number of untapped lands. Okay, living wall. Uh, whatever that was. Throne of Bone. This is another thing. This is Crystal Rod, and uh, it's very suggestive. Like, look at that. Oh, my God. It says uh, 14 plus on the box. I do not think so, sir. That's a wee wee. Um, wee wee. Uh, final two boosters. Uh, guys, let me know what you think about all this. Like, this is Clown World 3.0, right? Uh, and just let me know. Let me know. Devil's Advocate. Oh, he looks creepy. Every lawyer I met looks like this. Wall of Swords. Uh, that's all monolith. Blah, 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 blah. Well, grew up disintegrate. Because I'm of two minds. Minds. Sorry. I'm of two. A bit of a bore I came out. I'm of two minds about this. At, at the same time, like, kids deserve to learn to draft and play this stuff. Another Will of the Wisp. Great. What a terrible ending to this box is. Upside down, raised dead. Drain life. These are all over the place. This box is, like, screwing with me. Um, Jan Growth, and that's it. Well, that's been a little disappointing, but... That's the first time I've said that about uh, a box with, uh, let's see, Savannah, Volcanic Island, uh, a bunch of sinkholes, um, Soul Ring, th th this thing, I'll never remember it, a tutor, uh, and I think that's it, literally, I, I think that's it. Well, it's still interesting, right? It's still pretty fun. Um, just cracking these, considering how rare it is like to crack a dual land these days, just experience kind of like, I know it's fake. I know it's like a, a, a real doll <laughs> from China looking like Ray from Evangelion, but still, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this little weird aside, and let me know if I should crack the rest of these six boxes of Magic 4 Gathering. Thank you.